Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class is all about addition of integers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now to add integers class, we do have three ways. The first one is we can add integers using integer chips. The second one is we can add integers using the number line. And then the third one, we can add integers written as numerals. Now in today's video class, we'll be focusing on adding integers using integer chips. So for using the number line class and then written as numerals, I will just make another video for that one. And then I will just put the link on the description down below. Feel free to see the video class. Now let's talk about integer chips. Integer chips are counters that are labeled as positive or negative. So let's have an example. This yellow counter will be our positive, And then this red counter will be our negative. Now, to add integers class using integer chips, we do have some steps that we need to follow. Now, step one, count out the positive and negative chips for each number. And then step two, group the chips together. Step three, identify zero pairs. Look for pairs of positive and negative chips, which add up to zero. So do not be worried this because we will be explaining later on with regards to zero pairs. And then step four, remove the zero pairs from the group. And then last step, count the remaining chips to get the sum. So once again, class, do not be worried because we will be explaining this one step by step. I'm sure, class, very easy to add integers using integer chips. Now let's talk about zero pair. Zero pair is a set of two chips where one represents a positive value and the other represents a negative value of the same amount. It's a pair of opposite numbers that add up to zero. So let me give you an example, class. If you have one yellow counter, and this will be a positive number, therefore this will be positive 1. And then you also have one red counter, and this will be a negative number, therefore this will be negative 1. If you have one yellow chip, and then one red chip, we can just simply cancel this out, because this will add up to 0. Because if we write this 1 into numbers, this will be positive 1 plus negative 1, of course, that would be equal to 0. So that's the thing there, class, with regards to zero pair. You have one red counter, and then you have one yellow counter. You can just simply cancel this out because it will add up to zero. Let me give you another example, class. What if you have two yellow chips? Of course, this will be positive two, right? Because you have two yellow chips, and then you have two red chips. Of course, this will be negative two because you have two negative chips. Now, for the first chip, class, we can just simply cancel this out. This yellow chip, together with this red chip, we can just simply cancel it out because it will add up to zero. And then the other one, we can just simply cancel this out. This one right here on the right side, this yellow chip, and then this red chip, we can just simply cancel it out because we call that one zero pair. So, therefore, we do have two zero pairs. Now, if you write this one into numbers, this will be positive 2. Once again, we do have two yellow chips. This will be positive 2. Plus, we do have two red chips. This will be negative 2. So, positive 2 plus negative 2. Of course, that would be equal to 0. So, that's the thing there, class, with regards to zero pair. If you have one yellow chip and then you also have one red chip, you can just simply cancel it out because it will add up to 0. So in this example number two class, we do have two zero pairs. So I hope it's clear for you class with regards to zero pair. So let's proceed now to our work examples. All right, so let's proceed now to our work example number one, negative three plus positive five. Once again, class, first thing to do is to count the number of chips. If it's positive number, that would be yellow chip. If it's a negative number, that would be a red chip. So, number one, we start with negative three. So, this is negative three. Therefore, we need to have three red chips. One, two, and then three. Plus positive five. Now, this is positive five. Therefore, we need to have five yellow chips. One, two, three, four, and then five. And then next step, plus you remove the zero pairs. Do we have zero pairs? Yep. The first one, this one, and this one. So, we can cancel this out. And then the second one, we can cancel it out. And then the third one, we can cancel it out. And then the last step, class, you count the number of remaining chips. So we have one and then two. And these are positive chips. So therefore, our answer is two. 
So therefore, negative 3 plus 5, the answer is positive 2. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy as that, class. So therefore, for number 1, we do have 3 zero pairs. Okay, we have 3 zero pairs. This one right here, class. All right, so that's the answer for number 1. All right, so let's have example number 2. Positive 4, 4 plus negative 7. So once again, 4 is positive. Therefore, we need to have 4 yellow chips. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Plus negative 7. So this is negative 7. Therefore, we need to have 7 red chips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. All right, and then next step, you remove the zero pairs. So the first one, this one, and this one, yep, we can remove this one, this first one. Second one, yep, we can remove that one, the third one, yep, and then the fourth one. All right, so we're done removing the zero pairs. Once again, plus zero pair, that would be one yellow chip and then one red chip. We remove the zero pairs. So the remaining, you count the remaining chips. We have three red chips. So these are negative numbers. Therefore, this will be negative 3. So we have 3 red chips. So therefore, our answer will be negative 3. So 4 plus negative 7, the answer is negative 3. That's it, plus easy as that plus for example number 2. So for example number 2, we do have 4 zero pairs. 4 zero pairs. This one right here, class. All right. So easy, right, for this one? So let's have another example class. Once again, I will give you five examples for you to really understand this one. So what if, sir, if both positive and then both negative? All right, so let's have that one class, another example. All right, so let's have example number three. So what if you have both positive? So four plus three. So once again, this is positive four. Therefore, we need to have four yellow chips. One, two, three, four. And then we have positive 3, therefore we need to have 3 yellow chips. 1, 2, 3. So you check this if we have 0 pair. Once again, 0 pair, that would be 1 yellow chip and then 1 red chip. Do we have that? Nope, we don't have that. So therefore we just count the number of chips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now these are all positive numbers, therefore our answer that would be positive 7. So 4 plus 3. That would be positive 7. Easy as that. Plus, if you don't have 0 pair, just count the number of chips. All right, so let's have example number 4, negative 5 plus negative 3. So both negatives. So negative 5, 5 red chips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we have negative 3. So that would be 3 red chips. 1, 2, and then 3. So do we have zero pair? Once again, zero pair, that would be one yellow chip and then one red chip. Nope, we don't have zero pair. So therefore, we just simply count the numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, since this is negative, therefore, our answer, that would be negative eight. That's it, class. That's the answer for number four. Easy, right, for this one? So let's have last example class, example number five. All right, so last example class, example number five. We have positive seven or seven plus negative eight. So once again, we start with positive seven. So this is positive seven. Therefore, we need to have seven yellow chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then plus negative eight. Once again, this is negative eight. Therefore, we need to have eight red chips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. So you check this. If we have 0 pair, yep, we do have many 0 pairs. So the first one, we can cancel this out. Okay, the first one, cancel it out. The second one, cancel it out. The third one, cancel it out. Fourth one, cancel it out. Fifth, sixth, and then seventh. So we, we do have 7 0 pairs. And then the remaining chip, that would be negative 1. So once again, this is negative, so therefore, this is negative 1. So we only have one red chip. So therefore, our answer, that would be negative 1. That's it, class, for example number 5. Easy, right, for this one? So once again, you try this one, class, negative 5 plus 9. So 
negative 5 plus 9, you try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check, class, if you really understand our topic. So once again, class, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.